I don't know what to say. That was a few of the finest moments I had with music. He decided that 15 years was enough for him. So he continued his journey. And I have a, I have lost a friend. That meant a lot to me. Although I feel that this past year I have been waiting for this moment and processing my thoughts about life after music. Um, since he seemed to have not been himself for a while now, so in a way I'm happy that he could go on and that he seems to not have been too much pain in the end. I've been in... I've been on so much uh, adventures with him and I'm very happy that he has been a part of my life. My favorite story with him is when my friend and I and Musak was hitchhiking through Europe and um, and we late one evening came to Lübeck in uh, Germany and didn't have anywhere to spend the night so we were wandering in the dark there and uh, found some forest patch and we went over the fence and into the forest and then we discovered it was a graveyard 
So we found some place between the fence and the graveyard in the forest there where we just put up our tarp and, and uh, was going to spend the night. And Musak went on a little, little venture and, uh, and checking out the graves and then suddenly he comes running with a bone in his mouth. Hmm. It appeared that he found a, a bone from a newly digged grave. Hmm. So that was <laughs> a story to tell. But we also have had a reason to celebrate recently. Ivar has turned two years old. This little boy is now two years. And these past two years have been incredible and although it seems impossible for us to love him more than we already do it seems that our love for him grows every day so we spent his birthday in the sun uh, eating some shuffles and my dad Ivar's granddad has been here and uh, helping out with a secret project that you will soon see about i'm very excited to share that with you I don't know, maybe some of you have noticed that we have not released episodes in, in the pace that we usually have been doing. I've been really struggling creatively for the past few months. I don't really know what, what's up with me, but one thing that I would say is affecting my mood besides losing music is uh, the current climate on all these platforms where one really needs to guard one's tongue so as to not lose one's channel or social media accounts. This massive censorship of people who are critiquing the standard narrative is... It bothers me really much. And there are things that I would like to share and talk about and, and discuss. But since our livelihood depends on this channel now... I'm basically censoring myself. And that doesn't feel good at all. Those of you who have ventured and uh, looked for other explanations of many of the current events probably can guess what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, we'll see how everything goes. It's an exciting time we're living in. Alltså. Får du se sen innan, innan Kai åker tillbaka om det har kommit ut nya tidningar till din mamma. Mm.
Det var det det tåget. Det är Det var det Jag kanske är fattig svårt. Jag tror. Det. Det är tåget, ja. Vad ska vi rida då? Vi är den fågeln där. Ja. Den. Det är lite bättre mm. Inte håller du väl på så Det är ditt kalas där. Hur mycket var det då fel där? Var det två år? Två år fel. Nu ska se om vi kan få till ett flak. Restaurang, lite rök. Ingen rök på det här. Har du gått i vart? Vad har du där? Bark. Två år sedan nu då, så låg jag stonka och stöna. Och ingen visste det. Och ingen visste det. Var det. Jag kanske tror det. Oh, my God. 
Oj, oj, oj. Vartenda tror du det är fan? Har du sett på det snart? Det är enda. Det är enda nedi. Stanna. 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 At Ivar's birthday, we had a little picnic in the sun outside, and we had some sausages and uh, hot chocolate with whipped cream, and also these waffles that I'm making again today. So these waffles have a really easy recipe: two and a half deciliters of grated cheese and two eggs. That's about two portions, and just mix it together and put it in a pan. You can also like do pancakes with them. But I found this really nice um, waffle iron. It's best to do it on the open fire because we have tried on the stove, but the batter will spill out from the iron and it will be very greasy on the stove. So this is much better. I will make a small blog post about the recipe and put it on our blog, on our website. So you can find it there too. I'm going away on a course this weekend, so I'm making this now, so I have some travel food. It's really nice to have them like sandwiches, some butter and ham or cheese on top, and yeah, good to go. Cheese with cheese. Yeah, <laughs> cheese with cheese. It would be really nice to go away for a few days and Matthias and Ivar will be at home taking care of things. So it's nice, they can have some alone time too. If you use a uh, cheese that doesn't taste that much, like mozzarella, you can also make sweet waffles, so you can have whipped cream and berries on top. So you can choose to have a more salty or a sweet one. There. Four. Bälle! Mm -hmm. Ska jag byta den här ena? I crashed. I need to change one, one propeller. Mm. I need to find the right one. Där! Men där That was the wrong, wrong one. Skruva den där. Mm. Mm. Oj. Inte hoppa. As always, we would like to thank our supporters and especially our patrons. Because of you, this channel is possible. So if you like what we do here and want to support us with a dollar or so, you can do so on our Patreon page. Link in the description. Där har jag. Där är det hål. Ska den vara så? Så ska den nog vara. 
får du den dit. Mm. Nästan. Prövar igen. Försök igen. Den vägen ska den vara. Den. Mm. Ja. Ser du? Kom upp den på. Fel håll. Nu kan du skruva. Andra håll. Ditåt. So as I already mentioned, we have had some kind of rough time here. Both. Dungen. Both joyful times and sad times. Then. Ah, snurra det. But we got some very exciting things to share in coming videos. At least very exciting for me. You'll know. <coughs> you'll know why soon. Tappa. Tappa den. Där håller. Där snurra. And I hope I get to a better point when it comes to creativity again. And I guess, as you say in Swedish, um, we have now maybe to us water over the head with this project. <coughs> mm. I don't know what that is <laughs> in English, but maybe we have uh, bitten more than we can chew. At least it feels a little bit like that at the moment. I got my to-do list that I I really need to mill all the floorboards before all the snow melts because now it's the best drying time and I need to get the fash to ready and I need to get the earth cellar ready and so on and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but most of all I'm very excited for this um, coming uh, grazing season. I also need to make a better plan for the grazing and I need to start doing that now as well as editing and filming all these videos. Oh. <coughs> when do I get a vacation? I guess that was the point with our projects here. We wanted to build a life we don't need a vacation from. But sometimes it gets too much anyway. Är det sönder? Ja, jag hoppas inte det. Den här propellen var sönder, den ska vi skruva fast nu. I guess, I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Där skruva. Där ska vi skruva. Där skruva. Nu sitter den nog fast. Ska vi fara flyga då? Mm. Där. Där ska jag. Ja, där är den skruv. Där är den skruv. Där är den skruv. Det är en mutter. Mutter. Det är en mutter.